Okay, so I wanted to get started on my New Year's resolution. I thought long and hard about this and then I finally figured it out. I never really made like a New Year's resolution because usually all that fails. <coughs> okay, so let's get started here. Yeah, I kept this in my notes. <gasps> what the? Where is it? Oh, here. Okay. By the way, so I tag everybody this. Um, I would like to know everybody's New Year's resolution. And okay, so my first on my list is not to stress myself out. Other people don't really stress me out, I stress out myself because, I don't know. Do you ever get like these psychotic rage moments? You're like, fuck Yeah, well, SML. Even when things don't really need to like react stressed about, I get stressed because I'm a very, I'm not too anxious anymore. I'm kind of like, if I don't get what I want, I'm gonna punch each walls, balls, whatever I can find. You know, some people unwind and whine, or some people just go off on people. <laughs> check, check. Sometimes I don't know how to handle stress, and the only way to handle it is to yell and scream, take my printer and just Next thing I know, I need that printer to print out something, and then stress more happens. Stress makes people fat, stress makes people old, stress makes people skinny. Do you want to punch your boss in the face? Throw your cat in the pool? Overall, stress causes wrinkles, so... Start balling on a budget. I don't ball as hard as much, but when I do ball, I'm at Target buying a tablecloth or new hand cloths. <laughs> when I like to spend, I like to spend it going on like, you know, trips, traveling and stuff like that. But you know, I'm not like a handbag, I, oh my god, I gotta get this hot, I gotta get this, I gotta get the shoes, I gotta get the ladies collection. I'm a girl, but I'm very frugal in some ways. I just freaking bought eight bought. I just freaking bought eighty dollar flats in Vegas at the Hard Rock the other day, and I was like, ah. I'm a guilty purchaser. What I'm saying is, balling on a budget is like when I spend, I have to spend on something that I need, not that I want. But, you know, if there's a new handbag collection from whatever Coco Chanel, I'm probably not gonna get it. But I mean, if I break a toe, of course I need a new toe. You don't replace toes. But I guess stay more on a budget. Okay, so number three, no more dogs. Um, I do have five animals. Maybe I can, you know, substitute it for a cat, a monkey, a gull, fish. Even though I'm the biggest animal lover, I seriously would rather have more kids running around than pets. And plus, I have a new puppy Zoe, and she's just the biggest pain in the ass. Like she's so cute, so it's okay. Yeah, definitely stopping the amount of dogs. If I were to have another animal, I'd probably have a chinchilla. I know that everybody's kind of resolution, first thing, is to lose weight. That's usually your number one goal, but you know what, that's always my goal every day, is to, you know, stay fit. But I have gained some poundage. Hello. Hello. I mean, like, I do exercise almost every day, but I would love to lose 10 pounds, and I know you can be like, 10 pounds? What do you mean 10 pounds? It is my body, so whatever personal goal I have for it is my personal goal. I mean, what girl doesn't look in the mirror and be like, ugh, I look fat. And what girl doesn't ask their boyfriend or her husband, do I look fat? <clears throat> Boys lie, always lie. But either way, whether he says no, you'll be like, shut up. Or if he says yes, you know, you'll get a nosebleed possibly. <laughs> Except people in my life. And the one thing that I have a problem with is building relationships with people because I just don't trust no one. I don't accept a lot of people in my life. I kind of just alienate myself from people because I don't want to feel vulnerable to a point where I have to give in my feelings. Oh, I love you, or I care about you. Let's go to the next one. Oh, okay, drink less wine. Uh, maybe that's a big part of the reason why I would like to stay more in shape. I love wine, I, I can't deny it, I love wine. If you meet me, I'm probably drinking wine. And wine is just kind of my Relax. Even though wine makes you bloated and stuff like that. You know, I think some of our goals is just to be like less of an alcoholic this year, but I'm not one. I'm just saying, I just probably should not take my stress to the glass. <laughs> I would love to do more meet and greets with you guys. Um, whether it's in LA or whether I travel, I would love to. The reason is why I don't do a lot of meet and greets is because I'm a very extremely shy person when it comes to my subscribers because it's just so weird. It's weird to know that people out there like like you and you know, it's just You know, if I run into somebody and they say ah, And I'm like ah, No, 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 it's not, it's, it's not Jay. Kind of uncomfortable because I'm so overwhelmed because 
I feel happy to meet you guys, and at the same time, I feel like, oh my god, really? And then somebody wants to take like a selfie with me, and I'm like, girl, I didn't even brush my teeth, do my hair, do my makeup, put on my brows. I don't even have a bra on, so only here. Okay. No, I'm kidding. But um, you know, it does get a little intimidating. I would love to meet more of you guys. I would love to interact more with you in person rather than just in the camera. So, yeah. <laughs> If I get to the last, probably have less psychotic moments. I mean, this is probably every girl's goal, but I do have like a feisty personality. It's like bipolarish maybe, but <laughs> what girl isn't? And the number one thing about being a girl is that we got freaking hormones. What does hormones mean? It means, bitch, I'm not in the mood, boo. I would like to have less, you know, freak out moments where I freak out about nothing. You know what the problem is? Guys. Boys. No, not boys. We don't deal with boys, honey. We deal with men. The male species is just kind of... Mm. But listen, girls are bitches because we have vaginas. And sometimes I feel like I'm like 80, you know, I have a very short fuse. When I'm driving in my car, an asshole cuts me off, I'm like... Rah. And I express the language F you through my honker. <laughs> See? The problem is not me. It's other cars. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, ah, dress more mature. I am a very casual dresser, but I do like to dress sexy once in a while. I mean, what girl doesn't like to feel sexy in her own body? But you know, I'm getting older, I'm almost 25, not yet 24. I'm not talking like dress like a mother. Maybe tone down a little bit. I would love to dress more like my age. I mean, what does a 23 year old dress like anyway? I would like to wear more trousers, button ups with sweaters. I would basically, I would love to change my style. I would want to dress much more I can be taken serious and not be like, those are all of my New Year's resolution, and I hope you guys have a goal or two for yourself this year. So anyways, follow me on all of my social media down below, and also check out my Give41 website. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.